let me check HTML here uh, because I guess we have some padding there. Yeah, let me remove this padding so we can have the buttons aligned, yes, with the um, the end of the age and full name inputs. Let me close that. Yeah, they are aligned. For now, this is the customer's page. Let's keep that as we can see. And we are going to build the dashboard content area where we will display some charts with some information so we can see how Oracle Jet handles the visualizations. We can have pie charts, we can have bar charts, we can have some different kind of visualizations and we will cover one or two and how we can optimize its use usage and there we are going to use some free API to call like the JSON placeholder. If you go to JSON placeholder, so is a free fake REST API that you can call it and it will return something. We have some predefined endpoints that will have some data and we can get some data from there. So like we can have, let me open the comments and we will see tons of data here. So let's open first one. You have the post ID, the name and mail and body. You can use that kind of APIs to understand how to use the API, how to call the, the service data. Uh, for example, you can use another package, but let's use fetch here. So const response equals to fetch. And then we will have the API URL const API URL and let me JSON placeholder and let me get the users and let me do that sorry not here let me do that in the proper place not here we have this calling this we need to await and I need to have an async here then we need to have the data equals to response.json and of course we forgot to put try catch if response dot is not okay not response okay we will throw an error and we'll say um, something went wrong so you can catch that and put that here as log let's use the let data from service So let's put that uh, when we press the reset button so we can see it. I missed here the async. Okay, so we press reset. We have the pending. Why we have pending? Uh, yeah, because I forgot to put await and we saw that. Then we have called an API using fetch is quite simple of course then using visualizations and array data provider and collections and so on we will have some other ways to get the data but you can see that is quite easy and then you can use the data as you wish we will use that in other tutorials and we will also maybe use some node libraries so we can build an API with the values we want, like the JSON API from Node, where you can quickly deploy an API based on some JSON files. 
you just need to have the files and then it will create the API with some get and posts and delete methods we can use. So for now, let's undo all of these. And leave the on click. We are using a fake service to state we are uh, getting the customer. This is how you can fake if you don't have an API, you can have this abstraction. And of course, then you only need to change the logic here and call the real service, the real API and return the real values from the database. You can have every logic in the Oracle Jet side inside the view models. Everything will be defined. You then just need to change the way you get the data. So you are um, building everything even you don't have already an API to call. Let's use the JSON API as we were talking about it. Let's just use it. How you can install it. So, so JSON server, we can use JSON server and not JSON API. Sorry about that, my bad. So we are going to install the JSON server and then we are going to use some database folder with customers. We are going to have that here. Let's create a DB and inside DB will be db.json and inside we have customers will be first name, then last name, Gmail. Okay, and then we have the country, and then I forgot the comma. After country, we'll have state, and then we will have Everyone will be from state two and birthday and it will be one nine 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 zero one zero five. So now let's change uh -huh. twelve one it will be one it will be two so we have different things and let me see okay i have already installed let me use this json server dash json dash server dash watch db dash db dot json okay we now have the customers in this location so you can control click and then we have all the the customer. So let's add inside your source the configuration file where we can get the host, the port, the if there is an HTTP or HTTPS URL, and what is the endpoint. So we can reuse this application in several potential clients. Inside GS, we don't want nothing, but we want inside source a new folder named JSON. And we have all JSON files here. And we have for now a config.json file that will have an object. And inside that object, we'll have the host. Let me clear that and hide that as well. So we have the host. For now, it will be localhost, then we'll have the port that will be so let's put a string as well. And then we have the endpoint and that will also be an object and let's get it by setting a property of get customers and then the endpoint will be slash customers so customers for now 
it is the only thing we need and please remember as we have a new json file and also if you update the json file the jet cli will not get it you need to start serving again so it can get the files 